What if I told you that there is a new battery technology that can power your electric car for four times longer than lithium-ion batteries and charge it in just 15 minutes? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's real, and it's coming soon. This is the story of the solid-state liquid battery breakthrough by Elon Musk researchers. Solid-state liquid batteries are a type of molten salt battery that use sodium sulfur instead of lithium. Sodium sulfur is cheap, abundant, and environmentally friendly. It can be extracted from seawater, unlike lithium, which requires intensive mining and causes water shortages and soil degradation. But until recently, sodium sulfur batteries had a major drawback. They had a short energy life cycle and low storage capacity. That's why they were never used for electric vehicles. But that's about to change. A team of researchers from QuantumScape a secretive Silicon Valley startup backed by Elon Musk has developed a new battery material that can store four times as much energy as lithium-ion batteries and last for hundreds of thousands of miles. The material is a thin sheet of ceramic that's flexible enough to bend between two fingers, but no one knows what it's made of or even what color it is. The company has kept it a closely guarded secret. QuantumScape claims that its technology is ready to move from the lab to the market. It has partnered with Volkswagen, which plans to use the new batteries in its electric vehicles by 2025. Other companies, such as Toyota, Samsung, and Prologium, are also working on their own versions of solid-state liquid batteries. But what makes these batteries so special? How do they work? And what are the challenges and risks involved? In this video, We'll answer all these questions and more. We'll take you inside the secret battery lab where the future of energy storage is being invented. We'll show you how this breakthrough could revolutionize the electric vehicle industry and make it more affordable and accessible for everyone. And we'll reveal why Elon Musk himself is betting big on this technology. First of all, these batteries have a higher energy density. That means they can store more energy in the same amount of space. This is important for electric vehicles because it means they can travel longer distances without needing to recharge. Imagine driving from New York to Los Angeles on a single charge. That's the kind of range we're talking about. Second, these batteries have a faster charging speed. That means they can replenish their energy in a matter of minutes, not hours. This is great for convenience and flexibility. You don't have to worry about finding a charging station or waiting for hours to get back on the road. You can just plug in your car for a quick coffee break and be ready to go. Third, these batteries have a longer cycle life. That means they can last for more years and more charges without losing their performance or capacity. This is good for reliability and durability. You don't have to replace your battery as often or worry about it degrading over time. You can enjoy your electric vehicle for longer and save money on maintenance. Fourth, these batteries have a lower cost. That means they are cheaper to produce and cheaper to buy. This is good for affordability and accessibility. You don't have to pay a premium price for an electric vehicle or a battery pack. You can get a high quality product at a reasonable price. You can also benefit from lower operating costs and lower environmental impact. But how do these batteries achieve all these advantages? What makes them different from lithium ion batteries? The answer is simple. They use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid one. A liquid electrolyte is a solution that carries lithium ions between the positive and negative electrodes of a battery. It allows the battery to generate electricity by moving the ions back and forth. However, it also has some drawbacks. It is volatile and flammable at high temperatures. It can cause fire and explosion if there is a short circuit or physical damage. It also requires separators and casings to prevent leakage and corrosion. A solid electrolyte is a thin layer of ceramic that does the same job as a liquid electrolyte, but without the risks. It is stable and safe at high temperatures. It does not catch fire or explode if there is a short circuit or physical damage. It does not need separators or casings to prevent leakage and corrosion. Another difference is that these batteries use sodium ions instead of lithium ions. Sodium ions are similar to lithium ions, but they are more abundant and cheaper. They can be extracted from seawater, 
unlike lithium ions, which require intensive mining and cause water shortages and soil degradation. So, as you can see, these batteries are special because they use a solid electrolyte and sodium ions instead of a liquid electrolyte and lithium ions. They offer higher energy density, faster charging speed, longer cycle life, and lower cost than lithium ion batteries. They are the future of electric vehicles and energy storage. In a lithium ion battery, the anode is made of graphite, the cathode is made of a metal oxide, and the electrolyte is a liquid solution that contains lithium ions. When the battery is connected to a circuit, the lithium ions move from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte, generating electricity. When the battery is charged, the opposite happens. The lithium ions move from the cathode to the anode through the electrolyte. In a solid-state liquid battery, the anode is made of sodium metal, the cathode is made of a metal sulfide, and the electrolyte is a thin layer of ceramic that contains sodium ions. When the battery is connected to a circuit, the sodium ions move from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte, generating electricity. When the battery is charged, the opposite happens. The sodium ions move from the cathode to the anode through the electrolyte. The difference between a liquid electrolyte and a solid electrolyte is that a liquid electrolyte can leak, evaporate, or catch fire if it gets too hot or damage. A solid electrolyte does not have these problems. It is more stable, more safe, and more efficient. The difference between lithium ions and sodium ions is that lithium ions are rare and expensive. They have to be mined from rocks or salt lakes, which can cause environmental damage and social conflicts. Sodium ions are abundant and cheap. They can be extracted from seawater, which is widely available and renewable. So, as you can see, these batteries work by using a solid electrolyte and sodium ions instead of a liquid electrolyte and lithium ions. They offer higher energy density, faster charging speed, longer cycle life, and lower cost than lithium ion batteries. One of the main challenges is to find a solid electrolyte that can perform well and safely in a battery. A solid electrolyte should have many properties, such as high ionic conductivity, low interfacial resistance, and good compatibility with electrodes. However, most of the existing solid electrolytes have trade-offs between different properties. For example, some solid electrolytes have high ionic conductivity, but low mechanical stability, or vice versa. Another challenge is to scale up the production of solid-state liquid batteries from lab scale to mass scale. Currently, most of the solid-state liquid batteries are made by using expensive and complex techniques, which limit the size and shape of the batteries. These techniques may also introduce defects or impurities in the solid electrolyte or the electrodes, which can degrade the performance and safety of the batteries.